Welcome to Linda's TV show. If it is your first time of stopping by and you like this program, please do not hesitate to subscribe and you turn on your notification bell. That is very, very important as it will enable you to know when I upload a new video. I present to you information about what is happening in the whole world. Nigerian, to be precise, you are free to leave your comment constructively after watching each of my video. Please do it judiciously. I appreciate all of you. It's not easy for you to leave whatever you are doing to watch my program. May God Almighty bless you because I do not have anything to give to you as we hop into today's video. Remain blessed. My wonderful people of Biafra, I greet you all. I thank you for your support and contribution in this channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. The information getting to us right now is that there is a very big or serious crash between the Fulanese and the Nigerian police. Enugu State Command at the new Artesian Market, Enugu State. On the 22nd of April 2021, the Nigerian police were on the move to evict the Fulani cattle traders and some other unemployed business that has been going on within the suspended market area at the new Artesian Enugu. But the Fulanese over there disagreed with the Enugu state government on a peaceful exit from the environment which resorted to the to their exchange of power with the police this issue has now materialized to serious attack on some passerby commuters burning and the destroying of vehicles and other properties within the area we are calling on the enugu state government religion leaders media houses and other concerned citizens of the state to come and bear with us to bear us witness please stay with us for more information now this is exactly what is going on the nigerian police and their full enhancement <laughs> it seems uh, nigeria have not come to realize or they have not understand that full are the one ruling nigeria that nigeria now belongs to full these people i don't know maybe they have not come to realization it's just like somebody that is occupied that have taken over your country you are telling them to leave <laughs> how is it possible you know they ask them to stop uh, trading in this uh, in that particular area they said no because they see themselves as the landlord the owner of the owner of this country they feel that nobody can control them nobody can tell them what is happening but if it were to be between them and the police it is good for them Yes, if it is between Fulanis and the police, let them deal with it. But my concern now is the innocent uh, citizens or commuters or passerby. These are the people that went to their daily work which, uh, market on their way coming back this is what they meet this is somebody's car this car is not a police car this is somebody's car that has been turned into like this it's high time nigeria nigeria <laughs> well buhari is just uh, using their brain buhari is just using their brain but it's high time they realize that nigeria is no longer nigeria but belongs to Fulanese. that is why we are fighting to the nail that is why the biafrans are fighting to the nail that we should go we cannot live with people who do not believe in light people who do not believe in uh, uh, development people who do not believe in anything good people who do not believe that the poor people have an um, opinion we cannot longer continue to stay in a country where there is no freedom of speech freedom of movement freedom of religion recently a few people do not know ghana has been choosing as the world or global health center over nigeria yet that same nigeria is still answering the giant of africa now if you call nigeria now other countries knows what they are known for for example if you if you call china you know what they are meant for if you call germany you know what they are good in produce if you call america these are people's house this is a people's food people we are cooking this is how it is today my dear people how long is people going to continue to suffer in their own land this is somebody's food look at this is somebody's house just look at it 
Just look at it. This is the food that they are just warning, warming. My dear people, how long? How long? Since they want to remain in Nigeria, okay, good and fine. But the dear friends, they are tired. We are really, really tired. If any other person watching this video is not tired, myself speaking, I am tired. I am tired. These people are human beings. The people that you saw at the beginning of the video running, they are the people that went to market. Imagine yourself going to market or your business on your way, coming back, or maybe even uh, the period they were going, this thing started happening. Their shops are being destroyed. What is their fate? It's not even as if, uh, if all these things spoil, the government will compensate them. In a civilized world, when something like this happens, the go government always compensate them. Who will compensate you? The only thing they will do, if I thought they will even do that, is just to come and supervise. They will come and watch. That watching is laughing. Especially now that this thing is happening in Biafra land. I think that these people are intentionally doing this. They are intentionally doing it. Why is it that anytime they have a little clash with um, uh, people in Biafra land, they will start destroying their property. While in the north, they always have problems. Why don't they destroy their things? My dear people, I don't know if you are reasoning with me. Because there is a way something will continue to happen. They should leave us alone. They should leave us alone. They said Biafrans are this, Biafrans are that. Okay, we said we don't want to stay with you again. Is it by force? It's just like somebody visited you or maybe you are you are a friend to somebody and along the way the person said I don't want to be your friend again. What is, is there anything wrong with it? So my dear people, this is the information coming to us right now. Uh, the Fulanese, they are doing all these things intentionally. If they are not doing it intentionally, how would they start, you know, destroying people's property? Because they know that these people are Biafrans. They know that all these properties, all these things they are doing belongs to Biafrans. My dear people, thank you for listening and watching this video. I want to see your comments, your suggestion, your contribution, opinion in the comment section. Until we meet again. Bye-bye. welcome to my channel if this is your first time or first day of coming across my youtube channel or seeing my face you are highly welcome please be comment to my next channel my name is linda chukwezi it comment say subscribe and you turn on the notification bell so that you'll be able to get information okay. on the bis zum nächsten video und einen schönen tag tschüss tschüss bis mein yes, subscribe to linda's tv show what are you waiting for click on that red button that says subscribe you turn on the notification bell so that you'll be getting more updates from me leave your comment down below and share this video with your friends families and colleagues until we meet again in my next video bye bye